Get Chris. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in the suburbs of Medford, Oregon. And today we've got an amazing Mopar story for you. Chris, your last name? Lee Hude. And Chris, what year, how old were you when you purchased this car? I was 14 years old. 14 years old, same car. What year make and model is this one? 68 Dodge Charger 440 RT. <laughs> Can you blame a 14 year old for wanting this car? And by the way, there it is right there. So come right alongside me and let's take a look at that. Well, it didn't look like that at 14. Tell me the story, you were on your bike and how did this happen? Well, I would ride to school every day and I would see a car with a cover on at the end of the, my street. Every day I kept thinking, that looks like a charger. It's gotta be a charger. And uh, one day the, uh, the guy was an older gentleman who uh, owned it, was watering his lawn. And I stopped by and I said, uh, excuse me, mister, is that a charger underneath that? And he says, yes, it is, it's a 68. Um, so I said, wow, um, is it for sale? And he said, he looked at me and he said, how old are you? And I said, 14. He looked at me again and said, how much money you got? And I said, well, I got $450. And he smiled and he said, well, it's not running, but uh, bring your dad down here. And if he says, uh, it's okay, you can have it for, four, for $450. So I did, I bought it and I pushed it down the street into my uh, garage and then started working on it. And by the time I was 16, I had it running. I painted it blue. It was uh, midnight blue, numbers matching engine. I, I didn't mess with the engine. Um, and uh, I got so many tickets by the time I was 16 and a half <laughs> that I had to park the car. Um, I bought a four door Nova so that uh, they would leave me alone. It looked like a grandma car, green four door Nova. And we, uh, kind of let it sit there for a while. I took it in to get it uh, painted. And one day I go to check on it and it's gone. All the cars were gone. The guy had stolen all keep, of the cars. Keep talking, I'm gonna keep showing your car, go ahead. So anyways, two years later, I made the police report and everything, but two years later, I'm uh, driving to work. I was 18 years old at this time and uh, I see a charger, a gray charger, primer, parked across the street on a busy street. And as I'm driving by, I noticed that uh, it had a uh, window sticker in the back, uh, Army, an, an Army window sticker. Yeah, we'll open the hood while you're talking. And Go I ahead. knew that uh, mine had that because the guy that I bought it from was in the Army. So of course I made a UE and parked behind it. I go, that's my car. I called the cops. Cops came. Nobody knew where came from it was just parked there and so I got it back got it back we have a happy ending yeah yeah I got it back and then congratulations uh, then it got restored later to, on to what it looks like today with the 440 Magnum and was it originally was this a uh, Hemi orange no the grabber orange this is Hemi Orange, Hemi Orange, but it was original a banana yellow car. Banana yellow. So that car. is the only thing that's different on okay. it. I always wanted a uh, Hemi Orange charger, so I I did this one because this car will never leave me. I got gotcha. you. The this one that's going to be selling it is going to be my wife, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Will be uh, and this is the uh, air conditioning unit here this is the original air yes okay got it all right let's fire it up shall we what a great story For a second, Chris. Great tail lights. Oh, you can put the baby to sleep. 
sleep on that. Let's give it a rev, shall we? One more time. Nice. One more thing while I've got you in it. Let's make sure we show those hideaways. Kind of winking at you. One going down, then the other. And we're gonna turn it around for you. Love of the back end of this one is so clean. How they did that perfect separation with the back there. My second favorite, only to the 69, but this is close. The 69 on a one out of 10 is an 11, and this is also a 10. So the Charger RT, the kind of rocket turbine like taillights, you still had the chance to see the best gas cap out there and the strap. Let's open the trunk, shall we, Chris? So this was the one that started it all off. Yes, it is. And if you want to see Chris's complete collection, look into the description of this video. We show you his whole garage on a special feature. We're going to close that. Now tell me something about this strut. The uh, 68 out of the uh, 68, 69, 70 chargers, mm -hmm. uh, it's the only one that does not have the RT on the side. Really? So you can see it's got the, the double bumblebee stripes, Yes. but no RT. Uh, the 69 has the RT on the sticker. If it's a stripe delete, it'll have an RT emblem. The 1970 has the RT on the doors. Got it. Okay, so that's where RT is. Let's take one more look at one of my favorite quarters, which is right there. I'll let you take that in. Also, may I open it? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So as we open her up, we've got our interior there with the map holder below the armrest. We've got the black buckets, the iconic charger design. Do you remember how many miles it had when it was parked? I bought it with roughly 45, I think, 45,000. So I've only put, you know, about 15,000 miles on it. Since you were 14? Yes. Now, I know that you've got several cars, so. <laughs> That's just great. Just great. All right. So I think we need to take it for a ride. I think so. Let's go. Let's go. Chris and I are in the Charger, the 68, that you bought back when you were 14. Yep. Let's That's take a right. ride. Let's go. How does it feel? Does it still make you feel like a kid? Yeah. As a matter of fact, it takes me right back to my high school days. Is that right? It really does. Now, I know you're married. Do you remember the first girl you had in this car? You don't have to say her name or anything. Actually, it was Pauline, my wife. Really? Yeah. The very first girl. Yeah, it was. Because Cause I, I had to park this car because I got too many tickets. Oh, So okay. I had to buy a four-door Nova. <laughs> and that's the one that I actually drove around in high school so, until all my tickets dropped off. So she, wait a minute, she liked you with a four-door Nova? No, 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 no. Okay, all right, yeah. That's no. where I had my first girlfriend <laughs> and okay. second. Yeah. But whenever I got rid of the tickets, then I got back on the charger. That's when I met Pauline. I can. All right. So Pauline saw this. She says, "Yeah, this is my guy." All right. <laughs> well, she, I think she thought I was a drug dealer because of the car that I drove. <laughs> and she was impressed with that. You still married her, all right? <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, is that I'm the farthest from that. I no, never, I know. I never drank. Yeah. Right. Or any kind of drugs or anything. Yeah. I'm kind of a boring person. All I did was work. Well, I. 
Yeah, me on alcohol would be like most people on heroin. I, I'm good enough on oxygen. That works with me. Look at the road we're on right here. How good is this? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you've obviously got some memorable stories. Just think of like the top two stories when you think of this car when you're driving it. Well, I used to think I was one of the Duke boys in it. <laughs> that because was of the, the color. Problem. Yes, that was the problem. And I drove it like one of the Duke boys. Oh, okay. That's my problem. And thus all the speeding tickets. God did I yeah. And then God did I come in some close calls that now I just cringe at just thinking what I was doing and what I used to do. How's this for scenery? Oh, that's hysterical. That's actually hysterical. What a great car. An amazing story that this... You were focused. Yes. You know, to the legal speed limit right there. There might be one of those other tickets for it. <laughs> oh, look at this. How good is this? What a great road. Well, Chris, what a treat. So much fun to hang out with you and your 14 cars that you've had since you were 14. Thanks so much for being at my car store. You bet.